Uplifting Arizona, two colorful vans are delivering street medicine to the unhoused, providing their services straight to the source. And the pilot program is having a powerful impact on our community. Medical supplies and essential items are packed just as the sun peeks through the city of Phoenix. The Terrace Health's portable clinical care team is starting their day. Our days are never the same. Bonzel Park is their office Monday. Their highly recognizable vans, a signal to those in need that help has arrived. Hey, Corey, how's your legs doing? Right. Yeah, How you doing? are you ready to get your dressings changed? Nurses Cassie Hagland and Jerry Blake immediately spot a familiar face. We need to get you some medicine for your foot. The first patient of the day has extreme gangrene on both of his legs. Today, Cassie and Jerry can only clean them and put on new bandages, explaining without further care, the consequences could be deadly. We'll be back on Wednesday, okay? So either a doctor's appointment or we're gonna go to the emergency room. Four days a week, the team provides free medical care to those experiencing homelessness all over Phoenix. We have hygiene kits, things that we can offer you over there as well. Offering to check vitals, wound care, and free HIV and STD testing. Those are rapid tests, so we'll know those results within 15 to 20 minutes. The goal is to turn these impromptu visits into a permanent relationship that leads to getting them healthy and off the streets. Deep down, these people do want help. They just don't know who to trust. And sometimes it takes seeing us multiple times before we can um, make an impact in that way. Behavioral health counselor Leah Nunez says mental health conversations start here on the streets, but hopefully continue with treatment programs that change their lives. Sometimes they want detox and the, the moment to help them is right when they're ready to get the help that they need. When they can, they'll set up appointments at the Taros Clinic, even providing transportation. The $2 million pilot program funded by the US DHS began in February, and the results just from a single day alongside them speak for themselves. Anytime we can get at least one person tested and at least one person connected to services, it's a good day. <laughs> I'm ABC 15's Cameron Polum, and that's Uplifting Arizona.